this video, we'll be taking a look at my makeup kit. We remove the expired makeup and replenish with new makeup as well. We also talking about the expected expiration of each types of makeup. I'll be doing mini reviews of each of my old makeups after using one to three years of it. Then with the newly purchased makeup, I'll tell you why and what were my consideration when I was purchasing the new makeup. Especially with our new normal of wearing always mask. Of course, don't imitate me. You should always throw away expired makeup. Just a brief description. I am an eyeshadow type of girl. So I tend to buy lots of eyeshadow products. Before I proceed to the video, please give this video a thumbs up and please subscribe to this channel. Before we throw out the expired makeup in my stash, let us first look at how to check if when is the expiry date of your makeup. Usually, in the packaging of your makeup, you will see this symbol. This one. This is called POW. So this is when you count uh, the number there, so for this case, this is 24 months or 2 years after opening, then the product will expire. So, it, is all, it can also be seen here in my moonshot, wherein the POW says it's uh, 12 months, so it will take 1 year upon opening before the product will get expired or go, ba go bad. So, for the EV Advance, 24 months. And uh, in some other products, especially in this, uh, like this in this Squad Cosmetic, you will see here another date, which is the expiry manufactured and then expiry at January 2024. Expiry gen, gen this date will signify that even if you did not open the makeup, it will expire at January 2024. So, for example, you uh, open this makeup at January 2023. So, upon opening 2 years, so if it is 2 years, it's supposedly, since you open it 2023, dapat mga 2025 pa mag-expire. Pero, that's not the case. This is the maximum limit, which is January 2024. So, regardless if you open this after, after or you've been using this for uh, less, two years, uh, less than 2 years, as long as you reach the date of the expiry date, then that's the expiry, maximum expiry date of your product. Just like this one in Micro Calming Fit, so the expiry date is on July 2024. So regardless if I use this for less than one year, but September 2024, it will expire. Okay? So usually I write a, uh, I put a washi tape and then write the date of when I open it so that I will not forget. If there's no written date, then these are typically the expiration dates or duration of your makeup. start with this bag um, so for this one we have the we have the concealer so this is uh the Saem perfect tip concealer i opened this in 2020 okay so 2020 expired na siya. but this is my, the one of the good concealers there holy grail i've been using this concealer for almost I've used this up for a lot of years already. I have used so many tubes of this already. Next is this BLK uh, liquid eyeshadow uh, in Jasmine Intense Corolor liquid eyeshadow. I got opened this in 2020, so it's been two years already. And all for me, I think I did not reach this, reach out to this as much because uh, the smell is too strong for me, and also. Um, Maybe I just had difficulty in application for it. So, 
gonna throw this out and next is the nyx jumbo eye pencil i got this in strawberry milk and this is open this was open since 2019 so this is way 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 past the expiry date so i have to throw this out but this is a very good eyeshadow stick if it is still available next is the face shop eyebrow pencil just got this last year and late last year and i think this is still not expired so i'll still keep using this next is the love liner liquid eyeliner this is uh, from, I got this from Japan and I opened this last 2020. This is the Pomporinin, the collection with collaboration to the Sanrio. I got this also in the Koromi, which is the black. I really love this eyeliner, the love liner. Actually, if I go to Japan, I'll buy this again. I'm actually looking for this in Shopee, but the authenticity, hindi ko kasi sure if authentic siya from Japan. Uh, kasi yung seller is from China, so I decided not to buy that one. But this is a really, really, really good liquid eyeliner. So since this is uh, two years past the expiry date, so I have to throw this out. This is the, my Holy Grail uh, mascara, which is the Heroin Make Long and Curl Black Mascara. So 1 February 2021 and September 2021, I have to replace this already. It's also... Uh, expired and this one is the uh, mascara remover this one is really good also this is open since 2019 so i have to throw this out also this is for the lipids i don't know when was this open so i have to really throw this out lumang -luma na siya. Uh, this is a really good but very hard to find no but i got this from the us when i went there in 2018 um, next is the Happy Skin, the collaboration with Disney. got the Rapunzel and Ariel. I got this as a gift, as a Christmas gift. And I think this was way around 2018 or 2019. So I think this is past my past the expiry date also. But this is a very good lippy. Uh, this is very comfortable on the lips. But since it's expired already, I have to throw this out. Next is the 3CE Tile Nanda Velvet Tint. This is in the shade uh, Near and Dear. Uh, I love the shade of this, but my problem with this one is that it causes, I, I get an allergic reaction with this one. So, uh, I think I'm not gonna buy from this line already, already just because of that. But as a lippy, it's really good. It stays, it's mass proof, it's uh, semi-food proof, and really 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 mlbb shade i really love this the color of this one yun lang the problem is uh i get allergic reactions for this one so i'm gonna throw this out so these are the the things that i'll throw from the from the orange pouch that i have for this bag this is the wire the bag where i put my larger items in my vanity kit so let's start with this top portion my uh, turban whenever i i do my makeup so my hair won't go into the makeup and some freebies these are relatively new uh expiry date 2020 24 and for this one also 2024 um i got this laneige um trial kit this is a new one also i before i deciding on which cushion foundation to buy so i'll keep that and this is the, I think this is 10 years already from <laughs> Mesa Eyelash False Eyes Falsies. Uh, hindi ako masyado magaling mag falsies. So, yun. So, these are my brushes. I use this in my, on a regular basis and on traveling. No, So, I like using the travel brushes. So, this is my powder brush which is from Eco Tools, And my uh, Real Techniques blush brush. So, ang ayaw ko lang dito is madali mabasag yung cup. So, I I just put washi tape on it. Brush is good. And this one is the Haponess Face Brush. Uh, actually, medyo hindi ko nagustuhan ko to kasi pag nilalabhan ko siya, ang tagal niya matuyo tapos bumaba ako. So, hindi ko siya masyado nagagamit. This is the sharpener or eye shadow stick, dental floss, and yung mga lumang, ano, uh, this is for my travel, the Vanilla Co. Zero. Pero tatanggalin ko to dahil ilan years na since nag-travel and these are the from Sephora freebie so, mukhang luma na siya and I think this is still 2018 Kopal, I received this so I have to throw this out and for this one the Sun Glow Fresh Mist sana magkaroon ulit because I really love this the smell the SPF kaya lang hindi na yata nag-restock it's hard to look for it 
in the Shopee and Lazada, laging out of stock. And for this one, the trial and some the refills for the refills for the lash pad. And ito at which I need to dinisin. So we'll put this here. So these are the things that I will keep. Next, let's go on to the second tier. One, this is the Myson eye cream. Uh, I got this last year, so it's still okay. Late last year. And for this one, we have the Fresh Skin Lab Jeju Aloe Sunblock. I also get, got this late last year, so I'm keeping that. And this is the Eye White Recovery Sleeping Gem. Malapit ko na siya maubos. Siguro around here na lang. And I love this also, so I'm keeping that. Uh, Truly Madly Deeply by Colourpop. I like this palette, but... Uh, since the pandemic, sayang lang. I was not able to use it as often as I wish I did. But I love color pop. So, I like the color scene here. Yun nga lang. Medyo hindi ko lang nagamit yung purples. Because I'm not into purples. I like pinks, corals, and gold, no? And sometimes brown. So, uh, I think I got this uh, March 6, 2020. Still have, uh, from, for color pop, the expiry date is around 2 years. So, I have 2. I still have... A few months left to use this up before it goes bad. So this one, one of my purchases last year, the Squad Cosmetics Blush Eyeshadow Palette. I love this one. I also, I, I actually hit pan on one of the shadows yet already. So ang expiry pa nito is last year. I is next year. So I can I'll keep this. This one is the TCE Multi Pot in Diotima. I got this for. Uh, last 2020. It's 2022 na. So, I love the color of this. Uh, it It's also very easy to use, easy to blend. But I all I usually use this as a face, uh, as a blush palette. So, I love the color. And But, since 2020 pa to, expired na to. So, I have to throw this out. And another one, this is the Urban Decay Naked Ultimate uh, Basics Palette. I got this in 2018, so way past the, the expiry date. But I'm keeping this for the meantime because I need a large, I need a large mirror. But I will never, I will not use the eyeshadow na because it's already expired. So, uh, until I get a quick eyeshadow palette na medyo may maganda yung uh, mirror, that's the time when I'll, I'll throw this out. Another one is the Smashbox Cover Shot Matte Eye Palette. This is in brown. Hindi ko masyado to nagamit because this is very powdery. Hindi ko siya masyado nagustuhan. So, but I opened this in 2019. So, I have to throw this out. Okay, next is the Nichido Modern Culture Eyeshadow Palette. This is an impulse buy. Uh, I don't like the pigment of this. I bought this in 2020. It's way past the expiry date, which is one year after opening. So, I have to throw this out. Next is the Can Make Matte Flare Cheeks. I love the color of this one. But, this is way past. I think this is two years with me already. So, I have to throw this out also. And this one is the Maybelline Clear Smooth. Uh, hindi ko lang kung kailan pa to. I think basag na siya. So, I have to throw this out also. And maybe buy a refill na lang. I use this for traveling kasi. Next is we have the Moonshot Micro Calming Fit. This is what I use at present. November opened last year, so this is for keeps. Next is the Mary Lou Luminizer Highlighter. This is one of the best highlighters. I really love this one. And it's big. Yun nga lang, yun, hindi ko siya maubos, no? So, pero I've been, I've had this since 2019. I really love this highlighters. But I have to let go since it's expired already. This is the Eye White Aqua Tint. Uh, moisturizer. I use this in the mornings and it's just relatively new late last year. I have to, uh, I have to keep that. This is the Lano Lips uh, 101 ointment. I got this in 2019 so I have to throw this out but this is a really good one especially if you're in the winter. Um, it can really protect your lips from chopping. No? So next is this is my powder, loose powder. I just refilled this. This is from Glad King. I just refilled this with the uh, Coty Air Spawn. have to keep that. This one is the Moonshot Microfit Cushion. I got the refill at uh, opened it last September 2021. So wala pa siyang one year. And I like this especially during my filming. But this is not mask proof so this is not recommended for using with mask. What we will retain is the eyeshadow palettes and the, these ones and the 
Squad Cosmetics. And now, let's get on new makeup products haul. My number one consideration for buying the new makeup is to check if it is really mask proof because we're already wearing masks as part of our daily lives in our new normal. Second, if it is long wearing. I personally don't like touch-ups and I don't bring makeup with me whenever I go out. So I prefer to buy or use products that are long lasting. Fourth, I have few makeup tools so I usually buy products that will work well with these tools. I am not expecting to hit pan this year so I will tend to gravitate or prefer local products with longer expiration dates and for those cheaper products as well in the local market. So these are my considerations. So let's see what I have got in my new makeup stash. Okay, so time to restock our makeup kit. So let's start with uh, what we have here. So for the pouch, I'll be replacing the heroin make with this um, new eye mascara, which is from the L'Oreal. This is the Vol Voluminous Lash Paradise. So um, I got this. 2018, pero hindi ko pa siya na open So, let's try this one as our new um, mascara. So, usually, I like to put some washi tape in my uh, new makeup products because that uh, reminds me of when I opened it. So, ito, since hindi ko pa na open for today's viewing, I'll just put it here and when I open it, I'll just, put, I'll just write the date of when I, op when I opened the uh, mascara. So, this is our new mascara in replacement for the heroin make. No? So, uh, for my eyeliner, since I don't, I can't find a love liner in the Philippines na uh, there's a guarantee that it's authentic, I think I'll just use this uh, heroin make um, liquid eyeliner. This is in the shade black and then the other one here, this is the shade brown. So, this in, in exchange for my um, for my eyeliner. So, ito nagamit ko na noong January 7, 2022. Nil binalik ko na sa lalagyan. But for this one, the brown one is a really new one. So, I have to uh, put a washi tape over it para pag binuksan ko na siya or when ginamit ko na siya, I just write the date of the the time when I opened it. So, here. Next, in exchange for the eyeshadow sticks, medyo hindi na sila masyadong nag eyeshadow stick yata ngayon. So, hindi ko mahanap yung NYX. And, para medyo namamahalan kasi ako sa kanya. So, we have the Twinkle Pop Glittering Eye Stick from um, Peripera. From Clio. Open one already. This is the pink one. Uh, number Shade number 13. Awesome Me. February, I opened it last February 9, 2022. I really love this. So, I got the another shade, which is the Coral one. And this is shade number 12, Coral Me. I think I'll be able to use this since I'm into pink and coral makeup these days. So, I think I'll make a lot of use out of it. Kaya lang, 6 months lang siya upon opening na sira. No? This, I use this one for my eggosal and sometimes I use it as an, really as an eyeshadow and maganda siya and because I like the later. So this is the eye uh, mascara remover. I actually like this so I bought another one. Concealer. So I am concealer release a new one. This is the fix sealer. Perfect Perfection Fix Sealer from Saem. Sabi daw nila in this. According to the reviews I saw on YouTube, it's more smudge proof. Especially now that we're wearing masks, so try, I actually tried this yesterday already, but I'll make a review of it if I have time. For the lipis, especially our holy grail, the Peripera Ink Velvet, because this one, you need to eat and long-lasting, ever so reliable, the Ink Velvet. Next, we have the Self Beauty, long glossy, long-lasting thing. Sabi daw kasi, according to what I saw on the YouTube, this is a long last glossy tint that is... Uh, food proof and mass proof so very large claims so i'll just test this out if it's okay and also this one uh one of the favorite um one of the popular new 
lip tints uh the free free tint sweet version in morning glow this is one of the rave lip tints uh among korean youtubers so i bought one also to try this out i'll make a review of it soon for our small pouch okay, so the, for the refill or the exchange for new products for my big makeup bag we have a face mist kasi mauubos na yun sa glow ko. So, I got try this Lux Organics Beauty Mist by uh, Ann Klutz. Put that here. And also, I got this So Natural Powder for Room All Day Tight Makeup Fixing Makeup Setting Fix Spray. This one is uh, recommended by Raisa Kontawi for mask proof makeup. So, I'll try, try to test it out if it really works for mask proofing my makeup faces. For our blushes, my replacement will be the Milani Luminoso. Uh, it is uh, the recommended now for, I'm looking for a coral peach makeup thingy na meron gold shimmer. And this is the one that was recommended for me. Another blush on that I got is the Jelly Dough Blusher from the Holika Holika. This is a matte finish na different kind of blusher. But iba yung consistency. So I got interested and I got it. For my pink matte shade will be the blush on will be this Everbelena Bloom Blush. I got the shade in Fig. So next blush that I got. This is the Tevian Rosette. Blush to flush in Rosette. Very nice packaging. This, I've been using this for quite a few days already. And I really, really love the effect of this makeup. If flush on, um, just gives you that healthy glow. Very nice pink glow. When I got the Tevian, I was given as a freebie the Eyebrow Duo Powder. Kaya lang, ang problem ko with this one because I don't know how to use eyebrow powder. So I have to learn how to use it since I don't know. So this is what it looks like. I have not tried opening it yet because I don't know how to use an eyebrow powder. So I have to look for tutorials in the YouTube again. So next, we have the eyeshadow. We have for the brown since I'm, I will not be able to use the Urban Decay uh, Naked Palette. I think I'll try this uh, Squad Cosmetics brown eyeshadow. Medyo may to hanapin. This is always out of stock, so I was not able to get this for this during the sale. So I got this for around 199 pesos. And then another is I want a coral shade of eyeshadow because I'm into it right now. So this one is the also from Squad. I got this for only 99 pesos from the Tutu sale. So this one um, and this one, I love I love the Squad Cosmetics um, eyeshadow palette because they're affordable and the performance is good. Kaya nga, I hit pan on this one already. Another one is the Squadlet. This is just for 65 pesos. And for highlighter, uh, I tried this uh, EB Advance Blowout Highlighter in Spotlight. And another one is the, um, kasi ito, the shimmer of this is around parang silver. But I want to try this, the Wet n Wild Highlighting Powder. And this one is in the shade Golden Flower Crown because I want a gold shimmer lately. I don't know why, but I'm enjoying the gold shimmer na. Uh, highlight. Next is we have this two shade. This is the color it color it. Actually, this is from my sister. Hindi daw niya nagamit. So, let's try this out. Nalagin. I think uh, there's a newer packaging or version of this. I don't know. The shade of this is Sage. And this is uh, 18 months upon opening. So, another one. This one is gifted to me also by my sister, iMagic professional cosmetics. Ah, I think this is a bullet type of flip, lipstick. Okay, that's it for my new makeup haul. Hopefully, hopefully I get to use them all before their expiry date. And I'll tell you what uh, I think about them when I get to use them already. So, watch out for new videos. So, this is the updated version of my makeup bag. Hope you like this video. Please give this video a thumbs up and please subscribe to this channel. Bye-bye!